2013 Dodge Dart clutch problems. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. You have any issues with the clutch staying on the floor. You gotta usually reach down with your foot, pick it back up, or pull it up. Sometimes it'll come about halfway up. Uh, the causes for this is usually either the master cylinder, the slave cylinder, or clutch delay valve. Um, that's the three most common problems, but this one is the clutch delay valve, and that's what we're about to replace. In order to get access to our clutch delay valve, we have to take the wheel off and pull the fender wheel out. Fender wheel has several of these plastic, plastic fasteners or bolt uh, tabs, whatever you want to call them. And also have bolts. Get them pulled out and you can take the fender wheel out. Take the plastic fasteners out. Just take your screwdriver, wedge in there, pull the mill inside piece out then pry them behind the back piece you can actually pull this one out with your finger I'm just using a tool for demonstration purposes it's that easy you got nine of them pull your bolts out five of them comes right out now we have access to our clutch delay valve right that right there is your clutch delay valve right there replacing this and all this cooled brake line it all comes as one piece, so that's what we're placing right there. All right, we're gonna break our line loose. Make sure you got an oil pan or something underneath to catch all the fluid, don't forget that. Next, we're going to have to pull this clip bit, uh, retainer. We got to get that hose broke loose from our clutch delay valve. And after that, we can cut that zip tie and it looks like it'll come on out. Well, it's been a pain right now. I believe that's about got it right there. There it went. That got it.
All right, it should come right out. Get in there to it. There it comes. All right, we got the old one out, and here's the new one. The new one does come with a bracket where you can mount it. I don't know where you're going to mount it at. I can't find a place. But anyway, uh, let's get this sucker in. Put some oil around this rubber seal right here. That's so it doesn't rip or twist or turn when you're inserting it. All right, you'll feel it click in. All right, I don't know if you can see what I just done, but push that down in there, push it all the way, then push that retainer clip in, and pull up just a little bit on the delay valve, and you'll feel, you'll, you'll feel it click and hear it click. Feel it and hear it clicks. what I was trying to say. Gonna hook our hydraulic line back up, and tighten it down. All right, we're done. All we gotta do now is bleed the clutch. Okay, I was gonna show y'all how to bleed the clutch, but there's just not enough room to get lights, camera, hands, tools, anything up in there. But what you gotta do is you're gonna have to get a helper to help you. So get your helper to press the clutch pedal in. And then I don't know if you can see it or not, but right behind this clip right here, retainer, there is a rubber nipple. You pull that off, put you a piece of clear hose on there, and make sure the hose is running up and then curves down so it'll, the air will escape. But after you get your rubber hose on, you uh, press this retainer clip right here down, pull out on this hose. That will allow air to escape through the bleeder port into the hose. Push the hose back in until the retainer clip pops back up. Let the helper take their foot off the clutch pedal and repeat this step all over again as many times you have to to get all the air out. Put your fender wheel back in wheel back on lower the vehicle and you're done forgot to mention don't let your reservoir run dry while bleeding the clutch i hope this helps thanks for watching